BlackRock is back in the spotlight, and this time some behind-the-scenes activities have come to light. The discoveries made in the last 24 hours, especially for the Shiba Inu community, are nothing short of mind-blowing. But what's the big reveal? Well, let's find out. Yesterday, the cryptocurrency market experienced a major crash, but this time the cause of the turmoil wasn't the usual suspect of a Bitcoin ETF outflow, rather, the reason behind the decline caught many off guard. It's become somewhat customary for investors to prepare for market crashes, especially given the frequent occurrences linked to Bitcoin ETF outflows from entities like Grayscale, so when the cause deviates from this pattern, it certainly grabs attention. This time, however, is noteworthy because, as per this tweet, reports of recent geopolitical tension caused Bitcoin to suddenly plummet by $6,000 in a matter of minutes. It's important to note that geopolitical tensions have a significant effect on investor sentiment. Any escalation in conflict, even if unrelated to financial markets, can cause investors to become uncertain and fearful, which in turn leads them to sell riskier assets like cryptocurrencies in favor of safer havens which in turn causes a sharp decline in price. Second, because the cryptocurrency market is still relatively new and unstable, it is extremely susceptible to news and events. Last but not least, because of the interconnectedness of global markets, events occurring in one region can have far-reaching consequences across various asset classes, including cryptocurrencies. In this case, reports of escalating tensions in this particular area can have ripple effects on global financial markets, leading to a broader sell-off. As a result, yesterday the crypto market experienced a frenzy, undergoing a severe stress test with nearly $1 billion in liquidations across the board. Herba Inu, one of the major assets affected by this downward trend. For those who are not familiar with the term, liquidations occur when traders' positions are forcibly closed by exchanges to prevent further losses. According to CoinGlass data, there have been $3.63 million in liquidations in the last 24 hours. This amounts to a staggering $14.8 trillion worth of Shiba Inu liquidated during this period. In essence, it entails liquidating assets to pay for losses which are frequently aggravated the size of these statistics, 14.8 trillion worth of Shiba Inus liquidated in just one day, is mind-boggling to many. It's more than just numbers on a screen, it's a physical representation of substantial losses and uncertainty during turbulent moments in the market. Such massive liquidations surely increase investor anxiety and panic. This finding probably fueled the flames leading a surge of new and existing investors to sell their cryptocurrency holdings for fear of suffering additional losses. The phrase paper hands describes people who give in easily to pressure and sell off their investments at the first sign of trouble, but it's important to realize that this is a common occurrence, particularly among those who are new to the cryptocurrency space. The erratic nature of cryptocurrency markets combined with the fear of losing everything or of missing out on something often results in impulsive decision-making. Here's where things get interesting, while it's tempting to place blame or pass judgment, it's important to understand that these reactions are normal given the circumstances and the emotional roller coaster that comes with investing in cryptocurrencies. Amidst the commotion, something intriguing appears. As one Twitter user notes, BlackRock intervened during a period of panic selling and bought $110 million worth of Bitcoin. As a result, they currently own an astounding $19 billion worth of Bitcoin for their ETF. BlackRock's action effectively represents buying the dip, a tactic used by seasoned investors. Profit from market downturns by acquiring assets at a discount. This strategy enables investors to increase the number of assets in their portfolio while taking advantage of short-term market fluctuations. As we all know, experienced investors are fond of buying the dip because it enables them to obtain assets at discounted prices, which may increase their returns when the market eventually recovers. Additionally, it shows confidence in the asset's long-term prospects because investors think the temporary dip does not reflect the asset's true value. Now that you're wondering what's on the line. The cryptocurrency market is resilient as evidenced by its ability to recover relatively quickly, even though geopolitical tensions may initially trigger market downturns. 
this highlights the transient nature of market reactions to geopolitical events and emphasizes the importance of maintaining a long-term perspective amid these tensions. Horizon Well, as one Twitter user pointed out, Bitcoin experienced a 10% decline immediately at the onset of yesterday's tensions, referencing a previous event when similar tensions escalated. Short-term swings, but there's more going on with Shiba Inus than what first meets the eye. Usually, people only pay attention to the price chart, which makes sense, but when you look at it from a different angle, this approach seems a little narrow-minded. It's like focusing only on someone's attire without taking into account their accomplishments or character. Though outward looks are important, Shiba Inu's recent developments, especially with regard to Sherem, are just as important, if not more so. Important to note the daily transactions on Shabri have increased to an impressive 347,000 in just the last 24 hours, according to Sherem Scan. This unprecedented surge in activity highlights the need to look beyond the price chart and pay attention to the underlying developments within a project because these advancements and innovations lay the groundwork for sustained growth and value appreciation in the long run. Furthermore, the fact that Shubri activity has reached its peak since March 25 represents an astounding 6,000% increase compared to just four days ago. There has been a noticeable change in the dynamics of Shiba Inu's network in recent days. Not to be forgotten, though, were worries expressed by the Shiba Inu community when Shiba activity dropped almost nothing. This unexpected decline alarmed holders because Shiba was once a popular platform with hundreds of millions of transactions, so it was unsettling news. However, there is now hope as Shiba activity has begun to rise once more. This uptick is great news for all Shiba Inu holders, signaling a possible revival of interest in and utilization of the Shiba Inu platform. Platform, and this is where Lucy, the official marketing specialist of the Shiba Inu team, stepped in. Lucy recently made a bullish statement regarding Sherem's future in a determined tweet, reassuring the Shiba Inu community of the team's commitment to seeing Sherem succeed in the cryptocurrency market. She emphasized that regardless of who joins or leaves the team, their goal remains steadfast to propel Sherem to the top of the market. Lucy posted a tweet demonstrating their unwavering resolve. Additionally, Lucy expressed her opinion that even in a bull market, the cryptocurrency market would continue to see corrections, especially in light of the approval earlier this week of the spot cryptocurrency ETF in Hong Kong or any other spot ETF revealed that a spot exchange fund, ETF, that would enable investors to purchase Bitcoin and Ethereum is almost approved in Hong Kong. This is big news because, if approved in Hong Kong or any other major financial center, it will allow institutional investors to enter the cryptocurrency market, which could increase demand and price for cryptocurrencies. It appears that there may be a bright future for the cryptocurrency space very soon, but what are your thoughts on that statement? We all remember what happened and what is still happening in the space after the recently approved Bitcoin ETF in the United States. It represents a significant step towards mainstream adoption and legitimization of cryptocurrencies as investable assets. Below this brings this film to a conclusion. If you would like to view more, please click on one of the videos you see on the screen. I would be happy to hear your thoughts. In order to help me with the YouTube algorithm, if you like the video, please like it and don't forget to leave a comment. You can also help spread the word about this story by sharing it with as many people as you can.